Hello there. All right, so I always, I have to kind of hesitate a little bit before um, I come speak somewhere. When I'm asked, I think, you know, am I gonna be able to get through this talk without breaking down? Um, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but if it does happen, just give me a, just a minute and I'll get it back together, I promise. So my name is Nikki Goser. I'm Executive Director of the Crime Prevention Research Center and I am a victim of a violent crime. A crime that so many call a gun crime or gun violence. I don't call it that, I call it violence because violence is a behavior, it is not an object. Absolutely. I I'm glad we all agree. I never blamed the gun. I blame the murderer. Um, I blame those who stand for laws that make good law-abiding people helpless. Um, so 13 years ago, my husband, Benjamin Goser, was murdered right in front of me by a man who was stalking me. Ben and I owned a mobile karaoke business. We both had regular corporate jobs during the day, but as a side hustle and a hobby, we had this mobile karaoke business. And um, we had a contract with a restaurant every Thursday night to run a fun karaoke show. And there was a karaoke customer of mine that developed a very creepy, unhealthy interest in me, unwanted attention and um it's a long story but i had to delete him and block him from my social media my husband asked him to leave me alone and i finally realized he was stalking me i asked management at the restaurant to please remove him and when they confronted him to ask him to leave he pulled a 45 from a shoulder holster under his jacket shot my husband in the head. He then stood over Ben and continued to fire six more rounds into him in front of myself and everyone in the middle of that busy restaurant. I will probably wonder for the rest of my life if I could have prevented that. At that time in Tennessee, uh, you were not allowed to carry a legal permitted firearm into any restaurant if they also served any alcohol. So. Being a law-abiding citizen, I left my legal permitted firearm that I normally carried for self-defense locked inside of my vehicle that night. Of course, the man who was stalking me did not have a handgun carry permit, brought a gun in illegally into the middle of a gun-free zone and murdered my husband. I try to educate people about the dangers of gun-free zones. They leave good law-abiding people completely helpless you are a sitting duck. I truly believe that gun-free zones are a magnet for evil. We see this time and time again. Time and time again, we see on the news where these horrible mass public shootings occur. And you know what? It's awful, it's horrible. Um, I don't think any of us want bad guys to get guns. Right. Well, let me right. tell you, there's not a gun control law you can put out there that a bad guy is going to follow. All they do right. is affect good law-abiding people. You have to stop right. and ask yourself, yeah. who is most likely to follow these laws? It's the good law-abiding people, the people who care about the penalties. Right. I mean, look, if you're a bad guy and you want to commit suicide and you want to go out in a big way, you want to kill as many people as possible. You want to get as much news coverage as possible. You're ultimately going to kill yourself. Do any of the penalties matter to you? No. no. But to a good law-abiding person, losing your handgun carry permit because you carry someplace you're not supposed to, that matters to you because you want to be able to protect yourself and your loved ones. Going to prison, that matters to you. That matters to all of us. So all that these laws do are hinder us and our ability to protect ourselves and our loved ones. And I just wanna say this, all of these people back here, as a victim of a horrible, violent crime, I support 
all of these people, they care about victims. I want you to know that right now. They care about victims, and there are victims of gun control. They understand there are victims of gun control. We all should have the basic human right of self-defense. Right. And I am absolutely right. in support of these people, and I am so glad, as a victim, that they are standing up for our basic human yeah. right of self-defense. Right. Thank you. Nikki, thank you so much for uh, making such a complicated trip here yesterday with the flights that were being canceled and your effort to get here. I know we tried to even bring you in a couple of years ago prior to the uh, pandemic and we waited a couple